Hello, I'm Matt Jones. I'm a neuroscientist and I use nutrition to resolve mental illness and chronic disease. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I resolve my dad's Parkinson's disease using diet. Now in my book, Saving Dad, I chart the journey of how I resolve my dad's depression using nutrition after 40 years of psychiatry had failed. But towards the end of the book, I describe how we faced a new battle when dad was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Here's the letter from his neurologist, dated the 29th of December 2017, which first suggested the diagnosis. Then to confirm it, in June 2018, dad had a brain scan. This image is from his dopamine transporter scan, so-called because it highlights the activity of specific neurons, which release the neurotransmitter dopamine. This bright area here is an area of the brain called the substantia nigra, where a large concentration of these neurons reside. It's the part of the brain which is implicated in Parkinson's disease. And we have two substantia nigrae, one on each side of the brain, the left and the right side. It's clear from the scan, through the intensity of the colour, that on the right side of Dad's brain, these neurons are firing correctly. In sharp contrast, however, on the left side, you can see that there is very little neuronal activity in this area of his brain. Now, the left side of the brain controls the right side of the body, which explains why Dad's mobility has been affected in the way it has. See how he finds it difficult to walk, especially with his right leg, which drags behind his left. Now, like a lot of Parkinson's patients, he was prescribed medication to help his mobility. But Parkinson's is a progressive disease, and by March 2019, Dad was really struggling to walk unaided. After having overcome such a long battle with mental illness, it was heartbreaking to see him suffer with another chronic illness. So like with his depression, I set to work on resolving his Parkinson's. I concentrated upon three areas. Firstly, I fueled his brain with the right nutrients. The brain must be fed with fats. It's made up of 60% fat and uses 25% of the body's cholesterol. And it needs to be fed with two particular types of fat, omega-3 fats and saturated fat. Yes, saturated fats. Now I know that you've been told by nutrition guidelines to avoid saturated fats. Well, these guidelines go all the way back to the 1950s, when a man called Ansel Keys fabricated a story that saturated fats cause cardiovascular disease. It was, and still is, a big fat lie. Your brain needs saturated fats. So I made sure that dad's brain was fed with plenty of them. In addition to saturated fats, a healthy brain needs two particular types of omega-3 fats, EPA and DHA. Now these are plentiful in fatty fish and grass-fed beef. So for the last 15 months, his diet has also included lots of these. Secondly, I balanced dad's autonomic nervous system using diet. Over and above the nutritional value of every vitamin, mineral and trace element you derive from food, the most important role of nutrients is their effect upon the autonomic nervous system. Balancing the system is absolutely critical in achieving mental and physical health. And different foods affect the autonomic nervous system in different ways. Everyone has a different and genetically predetermined balance in this system, as well as unique biochemistry, which is why there's no one diet to suit everyone. The final piece in the jigsaw was detoxifying Dad's body. After 40 years of psychiatric medication, Dad's body was toxic. And even if you haven't taken medication, there are 79,000 different pollutants in the environment. From mercury and fish, to aluminium fluoride in water, your body is loaded with heavy metals. On top of this are chemical pollutants from the herbicides and pesticides used in agriculture. So I developed a nutritional protocol to rid his body of these toxins, allowing his brain and nervous system to function correctly. And now the part you've been waiting for, to see how he's doing today. 
with a progressive disease three years after his original diagnosis, and age 77, it would be fair to expect him to be severely restricted by now. And the video I'm about to show you was taken last week on the 5th of June 2020. It's the result of 15 months of proper fueling through nutrition and natural supplementation, all tailored to suit his individual biochemistry. And on top of that, here's some of the medication he hasn't taken in the meantime. With the correct fueling, he doesn't need it. Now through my book, I proved that even severe mental illness can be resolved using diet. And now this video proves the same can be done for physical illness. Please share this video far and wide to show what's possible and to provide hope to others. And for more information, visit mattjanes.com. Thank you. Oh my God, you have to slow down.